found a problem. Welcome to the PFO channel. I'm Jim. I had a lot of fun last week moving dirt with this thing for the first time, but it, it seemed really jerky. Everything I did on it seemed really jerky. Just barely move those levers at all and it would just, it would just about lurch me out of the seat sometimes. I was completely ready. In fact, I think I did in the video attribute that to my inexperience at the controls. But several of you viewers have commented that, the, that I was running the engine too high. You need to throttle that thing down a little bit. It won't be so jerky. So I dug into it and I found a problem. So let's have a look under the hood. I'll show you what I found and how I fixed it. It was, a, it was an easy fix once I figured out what was going on. I see the problem here. Yeah. All right, so this is not idling down, and I see the reason right here. There's a a lever of some. It looks like a cable. You know what? That's probably the throttle cable, and it's blocking. This is the manual. If this was on a piece of equipment that didn't have a throttle control linkage, this would be your. See your turtle rabbit fast slow fast slow that's hitting something down in there where are we in there? okay right here this is this is the turtle rabbit and you can see this black whatever that is is hindering the movement of full turtle mode let me see what exactly that is that's that's the throttle cable. So, if I were to pull that up, okay, so this one's zip tied, the choke cable is zip tied around this hydraulic line. Uh, if I zip tie this one along with it, then that'll get that up out of the way, and that ought to allow that, yeah, look at, look at all the travel that gives me. That gives me way more travel to get down to turtle mode so let me get a zip tie put it right there yeah it just fell back down i've yet to find any issue with this thing that isn't some simple little detail like that you know it's been loose bolts all right i don't like these hangers on my zip ties either. Let's turn it on and see what happens. Yeah, that idles down a lot better. Much better. reason I suspected something was binding up that caused me to look around there and find what was interfering is because I was backing out this screw right here which is the idle speed adjustment screw. That doesn't change the air fuel ratio at idle, it only changes the throttle position at idle and I was backing it out and the RPMs weren't dropping off at all. That tells me that something else is overpowering uh, this adjustment right here. And that screw should be acting directly against the backside of the throttle lever. So if the screw is not 
allowing the throttle lever to back down to a lower idle speed, then something else is preventing, thus the search for the interference. So now I'm going to start it back up, and I should be able to get uh, an immediate response up and down on my idle speed screw setting. So the next time I take this out, I'm expecting a little bit less jerky feel on the controls. That was much smoother than before, so that being able to idle down made a big difference on how smooth this thing runs, uh, especially on cement. This does not like crawling on cement, I'm finding out. As slow as these things track, when 
you're doing on, when you're crawling across cement, you want to go even as slow as you possibly can get it to move. Uh, you just have to be patient. If that was a hurry, I probably wouldn't own this thing. Being able to idle this thing down uh, to the maximum extent allowable by the governed idle makes a big difference on the jerkiness or, or uh, smoothing out function of it. So that was time well spent. Thanks a lot for watching. PFO channel out.